Well, in four weeks, our state is going to be knee-deep in college football, maybe even deeper, right? Of course, the Utes and Cougs kick it off August 29th. The following night, the Aggies take on Wake Forest. And yes, the Weber State Wildcats wrap up that weekend against San Diego State. We're hearing from all of those teams tonight, but we begin with the boys in blue down in Provo, where there's already a lot of attention on sophomore quarterback Zach Wilson in camp. Alex and Scott from KSL Sports Unrivaled Radio Show told us this week that Zach Wilson says he's better than last year, even if he's not fully healthy. Today, Jeff Grimes agrees with the improvement. He's way ahead of where he's been at any time since I've been here. And um, what I said on media day was that I think he'll be ahead because of all the mental work that he's done. Um, but he's, he's so much further along in his overall knowledge of the game, knowledge of the offense, quickness in decision making. And so I've been really impressed with what I've seen from him so far. Well, it's day three of fall camp up on the hill. The Utes receivers feel comfortable under new offensive coordinator Andy Lugwood, the eighth OC in the Whittingham era. Britton Covey talks about what it's like learning under so many different offensive coordinators. It's kind of been an interesting history of Utah with offensive coordinators, but one thing it does teach you is the skill of picking up a new offense. And, of, you know, I think Coach Witt's done a good job of trying to keep some of the terminology the same or the blocking schemes at least. And uh, it's a skill you develop. I mean, just learning a new playbook. Most of the schemes are the same across the nation or in Madden, anything like that. So <laughs> it's true. Utah State has a great defense returning. They have a Heisman caliber quarterback also, but possibly the most exciting player on the team is the kick returner, Savon Scarver, an All-American that the Aggies hope can repeat a success from last season. Certainly when you talk about what Savon Scarver, his history here, you know, lead, you know, last year established himself, led the nation in kick returns, but you got to turn around and do that back to back year to year. Savon's got bigger, stronger. I think he's continued to mature, and we're excited about what Savon can do for us. And the Weaver State Wildcats began their fall camp today in Ogden. The quest for a conference championship three-peat has begun, and Coach Jay Hill says his team, well, they're prepared for day one. A little bit of continuity between the quarterbacks and the wideouts tells me that they were doing the right things when they were throwing this summer, so that was good. Uh, defensively, we, we didn't have a lot of just blown coverages, blown assignments today, so that tells me we were did a good job studying film. I mean, today was very positive, optimistic day. You know, having the protection in this lineup that I have now is, is pretty incredible. So and obviously, you know, when I come up to bat and Justin Bohr is batting behind me, I think that there's a pretty good chance that I might get more to hit the him. That's Angels number one prospect Joe Adele just called up to the Bees. And speaking of Justin Bauer, how's that for a swing? The Bees did lose tonight, though, 10 to 6. We'll be right back.